It's a tremendous privilege and honor to serve my district. For the first time since an extramarital affair and clumsy cover-up were revealed, the West Michigan representative at the center of the controversy spoke to the media. 24-hour News A political reporter Rick Alvin had some questions for Elegant County's Cindy Gamrat. Rick. Yeah, this was the first time we've heard from her. The representative read a prepared statement. To her credit, she took a number of questions from the room packed with reporters. She apologized at length, but the most heartfelt remorse was reserved for her family. And on a personal note, I just want to thank my family. My husband is here, Joe, and I have three, three children. Sorry. And they are amazing, and everybody who knows my kids know that. And they have been great. So they don't deserve what's come upon them. I take full responsibility, so I just need to thank them. With that, Representative Cindy Gamrat said what many had been thinking for the last week. The revelation that she had an extramarital affair with fellow conservative lawmaker Todd Curser has been a major topic in Lansing for weeks and for seven days, the talk of the state. The big question was, would she resign? Not now, she said. She still wants to serve. Representative, how do you anticipate you're going to be able to serve your constituents? You've already been asked not to come to caucus meetings because of other issues not related to this. And obviously you see the kind of attention that you're garnering here. How can you be an effective representative? Rick, I don't think that's going to be answered today. And that's not what today is about. Today I'm just simply here to apologize um, to, to the people. Bad judgment. Yes, she says she's guilty. Cover up. That wasn't her idea. But on audio tapes used to develop the story and presumably recorded by then staffers, Representative Courser seems to suggest she signed off on the cover up. And what of those tapes? Have we heard them all? Are you aware of the existence of more audio recordings that were not released? I don't know to what extent there were audio recordings, Rick. I, I have no idea. The existence of more audio tapes is said to be quite likely, according to two sources that are close to this investigation. If they exist, if they're released, what they say could have a dramatic impact on the facts or the perception of this case. But then we don't know if or when that will happen. In the meantime, Gamrat says she'll be back at work next week and she won't say or do anything more until the investigation is complete. Don't know how long that's going to We don't take. have a timetable. Yeah, we don't. We don't, and they won't put one because they'll continue to look as long as they think there's more information to find out. The one thing she did say today, though, is that she's not resigning now. And then when pressed on the issue, she said everything's on the table. She said she's not guilty of anything, that she believes she's guilty of no crime, and she wants this investigation to clear her, but she did not say, she did not rule out the possibility that at some point down the road that she would resign. There's also the possibility the House could take uh, measures to expel her from the House as well. But again, nobody's yeah. brought that up, and we won't hear any more about that until after the investigation. All right. Rick Al. Yeah.